Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Uh, in this video I'll show you how to uh, create a form using a website called Wufoo. Uh, in a previous video I showed you how to create a form using Google Forms. So maybe if you're not a fan of Google Forms then perhaps Wufoo is uh, the solution for you. So let's go ahead and get started. We're, I'm going to uh, click sign up for free because I try to keep things as free as possible. Um, if you have to pay for anything, I will warn you or say that that option is something you have to pay for. So, I'm going to go ahead and create a account. Once you have filled out all of that, then you will click create a account. And as it slowly does this, all right. So to create a form, you'll come up to the top right and click new form. And let's give our form uh, a title. So I'm just going to make it a contact, simple contact form. Fill out my form to contact me. Uh, English, top aligned. Uh, now, this is one thing that angers me with WooFoo. Uh, I set up an account for my church and this was a free option however since then they have changed this this used to be a free option but now it's a thing you have to have a paid plan for and it really just really irks me because um, honestly I feel like this is a dumb uh, end message great thanks for filling out my form yeah what if I want to change it and put something at the end saying hey follow me on my social media or I'll try to say I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can you can't do that unless you pay so however you can send a confirmation email um, for free and edit that message and whatnot but I'm not sure don't think it allows HTML. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah. Um, so let's get back to uh, editing our form. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple um, drag and drop uh, type form builder. Uh, and to edit the options, you can uh, say, just click on the question and edit each uh, little text box say if something is should be required or not uh, you can have it be a small large medium and each different type of thing is different that was a sentence wow alright and I'm just going to put in a paragraph where's my par paragraph text down below click it um, your message all right. So now, if I was making a contact form for my tech site, even though I already have one, uh, I might want to say add a file upload uh, box so that people can take screenshots of their issue uh, and send them to me. So if I want to click and drag, you'll see that this is a thing I I would have to pay for. And that's not a thing I've decided to pay for, so unfortunately you can't do that. Some different um, fields are things you'd have to pay for, um, but most are free. So once you're done creating your form, you can uh, edit the theme and how it looks. And also this is something that, um, once again, once upon a time was free, but now Wufu has decided that you have to pay for this now, where I, you used to be able to add your own logo and whatnot, um, or, or pick any of these other options, but now it's something that you have to pay for, and it's a little upsetting. Uh, however, I'm thinking the rest of this is pretty much free.
and you can change like the type the typography of each section, uh, borders and shadows, and the, how the button looks. Um, you can say you can change the text of no buttons, change the text, or if you have uh, a image that you want to use for your button, then you can uh, put in the URL of your button. And there are more features here, but you can go exploring yourself. And we're just going to go ahead and click uh, Save Theme. Um, my theme. So, Wufu is pretty easy to use, uh, but in my opinion, there are many things that frustrate me that I would like to be able to customize that they don't let you unless you have to pay for it. Um, the last thing I think I'll get into is the account tab. Uh, where you can change uh, your name and change your email address if you want to change your email and your, add your company name and your time zone. Um, and then what you can do with your themes is you can, then obviously you want to share them with people so that they can fill them out. You can use the permanent link that won't change ever or you can use this URL and it's slightly easier to remember. Um, you can embed the forms on your website uh, and you can use this on wordpress.com or wordpress.org but I want to show you using the embed code how you can embed it on your website uh, that is not WordPress so I'm going to copy this. I'm going to come to the Tumblr blog that I showed you uh, how to create in that video. I'm going, to kind of go, I'm going to come down and click add a page and then I'm going to want to click custom layout and click underneath and copy my code update now customizer URL hit save so if I come to hello there it's Josh slash contact And you'll see that our form is embedded in the page, and then you can use this URL uh, to uh, share the form that you have just created. You can also do the same thing in Blogger. So I'm coming over to the Blogger that I showed you in my Blogger video, and I'm going to come down to the Pages tab and click New Page, give it a title, and I'm going to when you first create a page you'll be in the compose but you'll want to come over to the HTML and then copy the code of your form and then uh, I'm not going to save this but just to show you the preview of what it looks like this is the uh, title of your page and then this is the title of the form that you put in Wufu um, so people can fill it out and then hit submit and pretty soon they will uh, then you'll be able to see the responses from people. So yeah, this is just a short video show, uh, showing you how to use Wufu and some of the limitations of it. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful uh, for making a decision on what to use for uh, creating an online form. If you would like to be informed of when I'm make more videos on this channel, go hit the red subscribe button to subscribe to this channel, and go hit the other red subscribe button to subscribe to my main channel for other interest, interesting content, uh, and I'll see you guys next time.